So, you want a huge bench? Well, all you have to do is take PDs. All right, thank you for coming to my TED show, and I'll see you next time. Well, I'm just kidding, but let's get into the video. Benching, literally one of these exercises where anyone that asks you about bodybuilding or anything, the first thing they'll ask you is, how much do you bench? You'll never, I mean, I've never heard anyone ask any other bodybuilders being like hey how much do you squat or deadlift or curl it's always how much do you bench for people that do not go to the gym usually but what i want to talk about is how i got to my three plates repping three plates as a teenager at 19 years old and the first thing is something that is overlooked by a lot of lifters and it is building your back so some of you are going to be like huh richard what are you talking about like why do i need to develop my back to get a better bench well logically if you think about it when you're benching if you're going like this pretty much you're loading your back to see it as a spring so you're going all the way down the spring is compressed and then you shoot up so basically, you really need to develop a better back than you already have. The thing is, you have to work on your weaknesses as a whole. So I'm talking about the back, but some people might need more shoulder work, more tricep work, probably not chest work because a lot of people focus way too much on the chest and do not look at the overall picture of it. So building your back will help you tremendously to get a bigger bench. And that's what happened to me like i'm mostly like top dominant but from the front my back isn't as impressive as my front side and that is because i kind of neglect it a bit even though i try to hit everything as proportionally as possible because i like to have a good balance between everything but that was my tip number one. Second thing is is pretty obvious and it is the more you weigh the more you're gonna be able to push weight off of you so pretty much when I was starting to go on my road to my three plates, that was my goal for a little while. And now it's like four plates, but that'll take another while. But I was weighing around 180, added 20 pounds onto my frame, helped me go from 265 to 315. And it is not obvious for everyone. And it's kind of hard if you do not want to put more weight on if you're a natural lifter at like myself. If you do not put weight on it's going to take longer and it's going to be harder on you which i mean hey everyone does their own thing i was bulking and it helped me tremendously to achieve that three plate goal also for weighing in the greatest lifters are by no mean small people you can see julius maddox absolute unit this guy he's huge and he almost has an 800 pound bench and Pretty much, if you see pro power lifters like in the bench department, they are really big dudes, the ones that have a, a big bench. So you won't see smaller people with big benches, but it doesn't mean it's not possible. I don't know if any of you have ever seen the video of this um, this guy benching like 420, weighing in at like 160 pounds, which was mind blowing the first time I saw it third thing is technique i myself do not have a perfect benching technique by no means i try my best to improve it every bench session i do i try to do like a few sets working on my technique with super like non-heavy weights i'll go like one plate and then see all right how my leg drive is how tight i am and everything me personally, I'll show you a few clips when I did my 315 the first time and the 315 for a double for the first time. You can clearly see my upper body is relatively great. Back is tight, shoulders are retracted, everything is fine. But then if you look at my leg work, you can clearly see that I am lacking in that department because for some reason, when i started lifting i didn't know about leg drive which is kind of dumb but it is what it is everyone learns at their own pace and i try to improve on it but as you can see you can see some play with my legs bar coming down starts moving same thing when it goes up which is really not good you have to keep a tight posture 
with everything you have to be tight upper and lower to make sure you have the best technique possible to gain as much strength as possible so you just have to be careful about that so the last thing i want to touch upon is frequency and using um programs to help you reach your goals so pretty much when you begin you can bench once a week and you'll see a weekly progression but as more of an advanced lifter you become the more frequency you have to add in order to increase your bench so me personally i had a great bench even when i started first time lifting my one rep max was 135 at 16 years old but that's for me and then i hit plateau and then i saw that huh i should up my frequency instead of benching once a week i have to bench twice a week and then three times a week and then it came down to benching three plates i went on the small of junior program which helped me quite a bit not gonna lie but it left me really 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 sore for a long time i was depleted and like my nervous system wasn't feeling good because you're lifting heavy four times a week for three weeks and after that you'll hit a pr yeah but you'll also be like really out of not out of shape but like you won't feel great afterwards you have to take like a good two weeks off instead of one they tell you to take a week off and then you hit your pr but like two weeks is actually better than one and after you hit your pr you should take another week off the bench just to let your uh the nervous system recover but yeah you re like you have to see for yourself how much you should add frequency and then of course not you're not gonna bench six seven times a week because that is just not good for you, you like your muscles need time to recuperate and everything else so you just have to see for yourself whatever works you have to find a program that works for you and the frequency that works for you if you're cutting it's going to be harder for you because the weight the less you weigh the less weight you'll be able to push off of you which is kind of logic but yeah if you like the video thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in my next one